Since 2007, of all the 36 governors, only one man is being discussed, Joey Bukwe. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. In an interview with TVC News, Joey Bukwe, the All Progressive Congress Chief, said since 2007, of all the 36 governors, it is only one man, Asewaje Bola Ahmed Tunubu, presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, that is being discussed. Joey Bukwe made a statement when he was asked to tell the Nigerians the importance of Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunubu in Lagos vis their All Progressive Congress campaign rally in Lagos today. Joy Bokwe began by saying that Asiwaji left power in 2007 and today, even after almost 16 years, people are still talking about him because of the impact he made in Lagos. He gave instance of himself that he was part of the people that Asiwaji groomed and that is why he can sit here to speak now. He said, and I quote, As I was in the stadium today, the Muslims, the Taslim Balugu Stadium, I was just looking around and I saw men and women here as beautiful the years around him, of which he may not know since 2007, only one man, Asiwaji, has been discussed of all the 36 governors. He was able to transform 600 million internally generated revenue into the amount it is now. And today, Lagos economy is bigger than that of Ghana, Cameroon, and some African countries. Okay. No problem. See, what impact are you, are you talking about? Is it by putting Lagos treasury into his pocket or establishing um, agboros all over the place? Every reasonable person chooses an environment that gives him peace of mind to stay. So you can go back to your Abba or nature or where. Why did you automatically think that this person now is a Southeasterner? <laughs> or wherever you call that from where your governors don't pocket the treasures and there are no agoros to disturb you. Lagos did not call. You see this mentality of anytime they, are, they talk about Asiwaju, you come and attack them immediately, it's go back to look. Let us tell ourselves the truth. If people take you for this, your word serious, eh? Everybody go back to where I am. Let south, south and us go back. Let south, west and go back. Let everybody go back. Most especially south and us, south east and us, or south south and us. Everybody law. Do you um, do you know what is going to happen? <laughs> What is going to happen is, you see your six hundred naira a day, one billion, one billion, the naira a oh my fall, it will fall, my dear. Uh, why do you think they have not, they have not um, um, made other ports look as in lucrative? They have not built port in other states, even when there is, we have water to contain that kind of port. Why do you think they have not done that? You think, you think that you think this. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to clear some people. Let's not even go there. Fine. Look, if you do for, for the person who said, what impact are you talking about? It, no, whether I like it or not, Tenumbi did something. I'm not saying he did everything. He did something. There are people who he genuinely helped, whether I like it or not. But my own is, uh -huh, he genuinely helped them. Most of them that I was, they were, was also dragged, though let's not forget. This the I don't even want to even talk about that one first. I want to give him his honor. Since they let him wear his crown very proudly. He deserves it. Huh. Okay. No, by putting Lagos Treasury in your room, if another governor develops their state like Lagos, there will be uniformity of development and Nigeria will be better than this. You are still clamoring for mediocrity by supporting P2B, who didn't do anything during his reign as governor. Don't even say that. Ah, don't even get me started. Don't do that. Don't make the mistake of doing what you're about to do. Now, let me remind you, Lagos was the center of excellence. Lagos was the capital of Nigeria. Did all the 36 states and capital, we are day once upon a time the capital. I mean, I mean capital for a very long time. So some things you get to hear and see about Lagos was brought into existence by the fact or because of the fact that Lagos was actually the capital of Nigeria for some time. That is number one. Number two. In fact, that is even the main foundation of everything. That they built ports in Lagos. It is because Lagos was the capital. That a lot of things is going on in Lagos. 
there is a particular way they call as in the project they give them that you know that it was gotten by um what's it called Echo, that it was given to them by eco was one particular building this you know roads they built in lagos auntie uncle it is actually because lagos was the capital um, federal capital territory that is it give other states look at what is in lagos today if there's really equity fairness and justice if we have governors who wants to build their state like Lagos State, they have to sit up. Yes. They have to sit up and make sure that they do so. They will start demanding. Is it for the hospitals? Is it for the, most especially the port? The port is what everybody will start clamoring for. Give us, but those that have water that can contain it. Those that, um, this, uh, what's it called, this river Niger, those that live around this river Niger area, and head the southeasterners and the south south, and as we start, okay, build pot for death. You know, let us develop it, let us dredge it, let it be a pot, first of all. Let it be the first thing you do, and see whether people are not going to return, convert their places to hub like. Do you understand? So let's not even get ourselves started. Okay. Please, all evils return to your referral land. Who invites you to come to the West? I either You either obey us or relocate. Really? Did we come to your land? You're not friendly. Really? You are so unreally. Really? Please return home. Your bastards give them hell so they know who is your guy. Really? Hmm. You are just going to end up hurting yourself. Look, um, and, and I don't think it is possible for everybody to even start saying what you're saying. Anybody who is saying what you're saying... Eh? Yeah, there are places where you go and say this thing, even though you are Yoruba brothers, they go and lynch you. I'm telling you, whether I like it or not, there are people, just like everybody is screaming, as Siwaju, as Siwaju. There are people who are screaming, who are Yorubas that are screaming um, another person's name that is not a Southwesterner. And that person has helped them, just that the difference is the person is not a politician. Yes. Do you understand? Just that the person is not a politician. Let's not tell this line. Because if we do problem, there will be serious problem. If we do, there will be serious problem. That is what is going to happen. Hmm? Okay, I said it in 2019. The number of votes that Barry will get in this election, the number of mad people... <laughs> And the enemies of this country. Same goes to Tsunambu this time around. Hmm. Okay. He may have helped you. Does he mean he had helped other people? Exactly. That is my own. I'm like, eh, if he helped you, Tsunambu help you. No problem. Support him. But the thing is, don't drag anybody along with you. Don't take anybody's property with you. Just like they are saying, hmm. It is his competition. Oh my, it is not. You don't compensate. You don't give to compensate. Just like you don't compensate somebody for helping your family with your daughter by giving that to your daughter that is barely 18 to in years in marriage. That is going to be the most stupid thing of the century. There are people who do it. I'm telling you, if your daughter, if your daughter smart, uh, 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 come up for dear, report to you, you are, fi you are completely finished. I don't even want to even get started about it, sure. All right. And this